and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Android 8.1 Oreo update on the Essential Phone and we're going to see what they added. So without further ado. Okay, so we've turned around here. Oh, I have a reminder for Malachi. I just got a, a reminder. Huh. Anyway, I guess it's time to check out 8.1 Oreo. So turn around here, show you some of the different features that they've added in this update. A lot of things they have to deal with notifications. There's not a ton of visual improvements, but there has been a couple improvements that caused me to reshoot this video a couple times. So I'll, I'll tell you about those. So let's get right into it, starting with the visual changes. So if you have a lighter background, if you pull this down, this will now be white, which in previous versions in 7.1.1 Nougat, it was black. So that's, that's, I guess, pretty cool. When you pull up your app thing, it kind of has a white hue to everything. And whenever you switch your wallpaper to a darker wallpaper, then you'll see that whenever I pull this down, it's black. So it's a dynamically changing with the wallpaper and so is the bottom. It just kind of clear, has that kind of, looks like 7.1.1. And so I'll just switch my wallpaper back real quick. And also one of the things is if you kind of try to power your phone off, sorry about the focus, I'm trying to do it manually this time because it looks better. You see I got power off and restart and it's kind of like a, a different menu than it used to be less intrusive and I think it looks pretty nice myself and notifications uh, wait we're still on visuals okay so essential themselves added some things to this update some things that are are tuned mostly for the essential phone mostly they just made the phone just feel smoother altogether sometimes it felt like it got a little slow before but now it's it's much improved especially in uh, things like Twitter, people complained about it feeling slow when you're scrolling and kind of having a jitter to it, which they've kind of fixed, and it feels quite good now, quite smooth. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see the full animation since you're watching this in 24 frames per second, but I can assure you this feels, uh, the, the animations feel quite fluid. And so let's check out the uh, battery life into the spectrum. This is this is where I uh, realized I had to refilm my video. And I did a test here. I played YouTube at full brightness for an hour. And it kind of added some more since I've had it running in the background. But the basic benchmark was after an hour, it took 20% of my battery life, which I would say it's an improvement before. Obviously, I didn't benchmark this before, and then I don't have different side-by-side -side comparisons. but. This seems to be quite good to me. After an hour watching it on full brightness, that means you could watch YouTube on full brightness for five hours straight, which I'm, I'm obviously not going to do. I don't see anyone doing that, so kind of battery life has just seemed to be improved, especially with the new battery management features in 8.0. It'll tell you if there's things running in the background that might suck down your battery and you can close them and things like that so it's it's proved to be quite useful let me dismiss that i gotta got do that in a minute anyway so let's talk about the notifications in 8.1 hmm so if i check this out i've got 44 notification categories for uh google maps so if i go into my uh categories It'll tell me when I want notifications. So transit, whether it'll tell me station information or reroute. And I can select when it gives me notifications. See, I can see usually I can turn all these on and off instead of just saying, look, I don't want notifications from this app because maybe I want one of these notification maybe I want travel times for major delays but I won't don't want normal travel times or travel times for delays I could probably figure that out by myself if there's a major delay I want to know how long it's gonna be 
So I'll turn all the others off and leave that one on, which I would say is pretty nice, being able to choose what kind of notifications you want from the app. That's useful. Now, let's check out the uh, notification dots. It seems on a uh, pixel that it's dynamic and it changes with the uh, different, it changes with the different icons, so the color will be different, but on mine, it just seems to be all the same color, which isn't a bad color. It's not like the, the blaring red with a number on iOS, but it's, it's kind of like, I wonder why it doesn't have that. Anyway, on Essential Phone, they've added uh, things like the dynamic clock and calendar. You see it's the, the 21st right now, and it's showing me that on the calendar app. So if I go to the clock and I pick it up and then I drop it back down, you'll see it changes to uh, what time it is because it is, what time is it? 7.02 right now. So yeah, that's, I find that pretty cool. I just realized I forgot something very important and that is picture in picture mode. So this is where you can watch something on the side while you're doing another task at the same time or you can do uh, like a, a video chat while you're doing something at the same time. Uh, so let me just open that up and I'll, I'll be right back and I'll show you how that works. So I'm, you can just move this anywhere or you can drag it down to dismiss it and you can click on it and full screen it. And you can just, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then you can click the X to get rid of it obviously. And so I can just like go into calculator and mm, figure out things I can't think of in my head right here and while I'm, while I'm watching the flash. So, so that's, yes, this is progress. Okay, so anyway, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want to show your support for the channel, uh, please subscribe. I mean, I can't wait to see what next update uh, OnePlus pushes to their phones, you know? <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.